How do you choose where you're going to go eat on, on your show, Phil? Like, do people pitch you? You got to try this spot. You know, they do. In that. fact, tourism right. boards are calling us like, come here, film here, because the Amazing. show's doing pretty well. Yeah. So they want us to feature them. Right. I'm happy to do that, but we do a little research, which anyone can do. Yes. That's my message to the people is you can have what I'm having. Yeah. We all have the phone. You can yeah. Google best restaurants in Oaxaca right. and see what they got. Right. And then you cross reference. Never just take one reference mm, yes. right when you're when you're going somewhere you gotta cross reference yes so my show is one now source for you no to, question to check it out i know so what so what what uh what spot has been the most exotic that you've been to and i was one season? of them but you right. know it's not all, every day you get offered iguana right uh it, and, and then there's uh yes but bangkok was was <laughs> exotic for me marrakesh yes. was exotic right yeah and there's there's some things in the world that you know, a lot of people don't eat. It's not that kind of show. Mm -hmm. I'm not the the adventurous type. In fact, the way I sold the show was with one line. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm exactly like Anthony Bourdain if he was afraid of everything. <laughs> <laughs> And so they bought the show, and that's what you've been doing for five seasons now. Exactly. On this show. And I, my, the point is, if a schnook like me can go outside, maybe you can too. So, what is the most outside your? your taste alley that you've ever been like that's one of them that you just Iguana, saw yeah right. that's one but uh we did a show in hong kong on the old pbs uh series yes. there was a pbs series called i'll have what phil's having right before this and i ate something called the thousand year old egg mm -hmm. it's not really a thousand it just tastes that way mm -hmm. and it's a it's an egg that they bury in the sand or the the underground and they cover it in lime and ash and it kind of hard boils on its own after a, a few weeks or oh months. Oh, my God. When you cut open this hard-boiled egg, yes. it the the white is a brownish-orange, and the yolk is a bluish-green. And this was on the table with a bunch of other stuff at a hot pot restaurant, which is fantastic. Yes. I didn't realize you're supposed to take a tiny sliver of this thing and drop it in as a, as a kind of funky seasoning. And there was a woman at the table who was Chinese who said, I'm not touching that. I said, I'll tell you what, you taste it, I'll taste it. Mm -hmm. And she was so tentative about it. I said, oh, come on. And I popped the entire half an egg in oh my, my mouth. Oh, my God. Yeah, because I'm <laughs> hilarious, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> and I turned every shade of that egg. And you hear on the soundtrack, you hear laughing. It's my brother, the producer, behind the camera. Yeah. Laughing because I'm going to die now. <laughs> and that was, I think, the worst thing I've ever eaten i didn't try the iguana or the beetles but that was close i have had to eat a couple of bugs here and there oh, because God. it's part of the it, you know in tokyo i had an ant they told me you gotta try this ant because mm -hmm. it tastes like lemon i said oh in that case may i please have some lemon because mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have to eat the ant exactly if it's lemon we're after how about some lemon <laughs> instead of <laughs> bugs that i have to eat and they said, you got to try. And, and the woman I was with said, you know, it, it's really good and you should taste it. And I pick up this ant. Yes. That looks like a black carpenter ant that you would chew away at your picnic. Yes. And I put it in my mouth. This is not I'm a Jewish guy from Queens. I'm not <laughs> eating bugs. I'm a Jewish guy from Staten Island. And I'm with you, man. Yes. I am way with you. I'm a guy who, when when I was in, uh, you know, my dad was a French teacher. May, may we rest his soul. Yes. And he, he, he would go on trips with his high school class around the world in French-speaking countries. Yes. And we went to Paris. I went to Paris as a kid. And I, all I had was peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Aww. I didn't taste a damn thing there. And now... Uh, Are I'm you pretty better? much oh, I'm a hamburger now. You know what I mean? No. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I don't really go outside my. Will you come with me somewhere? Can I turn uh, you on to uh, some things? I, I, not I, bugs, I promise. Okay. Because so, I'm so, with you in that. Somewhere <laughs> between peanut butter and jelly and a moving beetle, we can find that sweet spot, is what I you're saying. I think so. You eat a steak? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Of course. Oh, yeah. I'm not, I guess you I shouldn't pasta. paint myself that bad. Yes. Well, I mean, my wife you and I just Chinese went to food? Italy. It was amazing. Yes. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. It is my favorite. Okay. Italian food, right? Like if you love, had to choose. I love it. That's but the winner. They, listen, they eat some things too. Like there's tripe carts in Florence yes. where they pull out the sheet, the, uh, the stomach lining of a cow, and it comes out of the cart like, <laughs> like this, and you go, oh, no, and it smells like, you know, bad cheese. Uh-huh. No, thank you. The tripe cart. You it's got it. It's not like the good humor truck that and came around the neighborhood. And they slice it up and put it on a roll. Oh, my gosh. And uh, that's their hot dog. You know, that's delicious to them. Anyway, I bite this ant. Yes. And damn, if it doesn't taste like somebody put a drop of lemon on my tongue. So it was. So I'm like, okay, now the questions. 
what do you base these in lemon? No, this ant, not every ant. Yes. <laughs> this particular ant. Yes. In this particular part of the forest, in this part of Japan. Yes. That tastes like lemon. Who the hell discovered that? I don't know. <laughs> Somebody very hungry. <laughs> Desperately yeah. hungry. Famous saying, it was a brave man that once tried an oyster. <laughs> Right? I've never heard that phrase yeah, before. Yeah, you're going to eat that when you look at it? Not no, really, no but way. now I love Do you eat them? No, I don't. I've, I've got texture issues with an oyster. I understand that's, that. That's my problem. i got texture issues with food. I didn't try mayonnaise until I was 21. Okay, but uh, I, I get it. It's true. I get it. No, I get it. What are you laughing at? It's the truth? What, the way I said it? Is that what you're laughing at? It's just a weird way of putting it. It's the truth. Yeah, I get I, it. I, I, had pro- I had problems with it. I have texture. Now I, now I have no problem with it. But Now you, know, you have no problem with it. Zero problem. See, but see, now you're grown up. That's what I'm trying to say, that, that, we, that we grow up and, and our, our tastes literally change. So yes. I tell people, yes. even if you hated this thing earlier in your life, try yeah. it now. You're going to see a difference. Like, I couldn't eat beets when I was little. Now no. I can eat them. No, now I can. like them even. Look at, now look at you.